previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. This is not how the world works now! Reed, are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. We... I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no! I don't mean it, Krista. What do you think? Oh, Mage, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr. No. You have to admit it has a ring to it. You two should decide. But the vote's deadlocked. Yeah, well, my vote counts for two. That's not fair. Are you going into labor soon? No? Then don't talk to me about fair. You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially Little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Hello?
better. Oh, shoot. I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Come on out now. Leave me alone. Don't think I will. Why not? Are you stupid or something? Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. You don't have to do this. It's mean. You gotta be mean to keep going out here. I'm not mean. Yeah? And who got your gun? I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around. Come on. I don't have anything. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo.
Krista, talk to me. <sighs> this will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... build a big fire at night. It attracts too much attention. It's too dangerous when we're out here by ourselves. We need to eat, don't we? We can't survive without food. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet, then ice, then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold, or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. I wish Omid was here. Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Still not enough. The flames are too low. This won't burn.
This might burn. This will never cook. The flames aren't high enough. I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! <laughs> Ah! 
Krista, are you there? It's okay, boy. It's okay. <coughs> Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. <coughs> What's he doing? Sam, where are you going? Wait up! Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Hmm, nothing edible. Hey, 
Want to play? Want to play catch? <coughs> okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Maybe we better not wait around to find out. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? It's not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. What's the matter, Sam? Shh, we have to be quiet. It's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out, but that never works, ever. It's okay. We're smart, and he's not. We're smarter than all of them. It's okay, boy. Shh. He can't hurt us. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? Stand back, okay? We just have to stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. <sighs> Still pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? <sighs> no food here, either. No food on the grill, nothing in the cooler. Ugh, I hate scavengers. They take everything.
You want to go again? <laughs> go get it, Sam. I bet you miss this. I sure do. Let's go one more time. Go get it, boy! Darn. It was good while it lasted, though, right? Yeah, you're right. Shouldn't waste the energy anyway. go. Oh my god. Thank you. Look, Sam. A can. Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. I guess you're pretty hungry, too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all.
Come on, kid. We gotta get it. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I can walk. Oh, was that so? Because last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. I got separated from my friend and got lost. Well, if he's nearby, then maybe we'll come across I... him. I don't think she is. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm Luke. And this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- OH SHIT! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? Hmm. No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, it really was a dog. Please, believe me. Look, I want to, kid, but I gotta believe my own two eyes first, and I didn't see no dog around. No, it was from before. Hmm, all right. Let's see. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now, what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I want to know how believable her story is. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You looked me in the eyes when you answered. Yes. Hmm. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at. All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit! She already told us she was with a friend and then got lost. She was bit by a dog. What? And you just believed her? 
You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. Hey! <laughs> Lucky my nephew can't shoot for shit. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? She tried to run, man. Well, Nick, can you really fucking blame her? We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. <sighs> it's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would. You're a doctor, right? Aren't you supposed to help people that are hurt? I promise you, it was just a dog bite. That's all it was. We'll know soon enough, young lady. Who's she? Sarah, what I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. I understand you're scared. And I feel terrible delaying treatment. We've got to be sure. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? Oh. We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. Alvin, please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. My arm really hurts. I don't know what to tell you except hold out the best you can. We'll see what we can do in the morning. If I make it until then, maybe you could get me some supplies? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. <laughs> 